Hi! This instructional video is about a circle that is inside an equilateral triangle and this circle happens to have a radius of three units. Here's a circle first of all with a radius of three units and then we have an equilateral triangle. Let me draw it this way. I want that radius to mean something. So there. That kind of helps us to visualize what we're talking about. And the uh, question is, what percentage of the area of the triangle is not enclosed by the circle? This is enclosed, so the outside is not. So what they're asking for is, what is the area of the shaded region? Why don't you try to figure this one out? We have had a number of series of circles and triangles and squares. See if you can do this, okay? Go ahead. First. It's obvious I have to find the area of a circle. And once I find that, I have to take that area of a circle and subtract it away from the total area of the triangle. Seems pretty straightforward enough. So area of a circle is pi r squared. Therefore, it's pi times the radius, which is three units, squared. So it is simply nine pi. And a nine pi is approximately 9 times pi is approximately 28.27 something units squared, okay? Approximately 28.27, something like that. So let's just, that's just for, to give us an idea. 28.27433, something like that, units squared. Okay, now we need to find the area of a triangle. So how do we go about doing that? So the area of a triangle Remember, it said it was an equilateral. Now, here's what we have. In an equilateral triangle, if you were to use the theorem, concurrency of medians of a triangle, so median of a triangle is the midpoint of one side of a triangle, and from that midpoint, you draw a line to the vertex. But in an equilateral, the median also happens to be the height. And the thing is, if you draw three medians, what you end up is three Medians that intersect at a point, which is called a centroid. Okay, that's a centroid. And a centroid, a circle can be drawn that distance from the centroid to the midpoint of the base of a triangle is actually the radius of a circle that can be inscribed in it. And it says that the distance from the centroid to the midpoint of a side of a triangle is one-third of the whole distance. So let's do this first of all. Let's cut that equilateral triangle in half this away. <laughs> this away. And this used to be 60, 60, 60. So now it's going to be 30, 60, and 90. And my geometry students know the ratio of 30, 60, 90 ratio of triangle as being x, double the x for the hypotenuse, and square root of 3x. And the reason why this is important to know is because since the, the radius that is from the centroid to the midpoint of a base of a triangle is one-third of the whole thing, and that whole thing, well, look at that, the radius is given as 3. So that means the radius from here to there is 3, and that's just one-third. And since the whole height is square root of 3x, but that little portion is given as 3. Well, that 3 is one-third of the whole thing. So what we need to find out is one-third of the whole thing. How is that 3? So solve for x. Multiply the reciprocal of one-third. It turns out x is 9. And if this is x is 9, remember, to find the x now, all we have to do is take that x is equal to 9, which is the whole thing. This whole thing is a 9. And 9 is equivalent to the ratio of that 30, 60, 90, which is square root of 3x. We have to solve for x. So divide both sides by the coefficient of the square root of 3. So x is equal to 9 square root of 3. But we cannot have a radical as a denominator. So we're going to rationalize this quotient by multiplying to the top and the bottom by that radical. Because when you multiply the identical radicals, the radicand comes out, and that's 9 square root of 3. 3 reduces to 9 3 times. So therefore, the missing side x 
is 3 square root of 3. So that's 3 square root of 3. All right. So now we know that this is 3 square root of 3. And that means that twice of that is here. So this hypotenuse, 2x is equal to 2 times x, which is 3 square root of 3. Therefore, this becomes 6 square root of 3. So that's 6 square root of 3. And the height, we said it was 9. So find the area of a triangle. We didn't really need to know that. Is <laughs> 1 half base times height. Therefore, 1 half times base is now the full length, which is double this one, which is 6 square root of 3 which is same as the hypotenuse because it's an equilateral and the height is 9 units. Half of the coefficient 6 is 3 square root of 3 times the height which is 9 therefore it's 27 square root of 3. That's the area of the triangle. So what do you do with the area of a triangle with the area of the circle? Is you subtract. So 27 square root of 3 minus 9 pi. Okay, you want to use a calculator because I want to carry all the decimal places. It gives me 18.491, something like that, unit squared. There's my area left over when I cut, when I cut the circle, which is 28.27, away from this triangle, which is uh, 27 times square root of 3, and I get 18.491 area. And, whoa! That's just the leftover. So what's the percent? <laughs> so the percent is, it says what percent is not enclosed? So that is part of the triangle. So it's going to be that 18.49 divided by the area of a triangle, which was, what was it? 27 square root of 3. So let's do that. Approximately 0.3954 or 39.54%. There's the final answer. Is not enclosed by the circle. There you go. That was rough. I hope it makes sense. Good luck.